here's my next approach. Whoops. When people say to me, well, I don't know. What does that mean? How do I know if I'm a good fit? What do I got to do? This is the five steps I take you through. It's five steps. It's going to be easier. Step number one is focus. How many of you have had people come to you asking you to write a resume and they have no focus? None. Mm -hmm. Or else they say, oh, I want to do this and this and this and this and this and this all I can do. Multiple, right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay, that's again some confused, unfocused person. So focus is number one. Two is UVP. Anybody know what UVP is? She's a plant in the audience, I already, she's my roomie, so I practice that. <laughs> Unique value proposition. Number three is your proactive strategies, because just like in a chess game, you have to have strategies first before you make moves. Right? Yes, Jay? Well, I was going to ask, uh, Susan, was that what we used to call the central selling point? Yeah, but this is a related now to your personal brand. Okay. Your central selling point has more to do with the value you bring, so we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Number four, proactive tools. Those are the, the tools now that have come into existence, like social media, for example, that we can use proactively to make ourselves visible, credible, and desirable. And then finally, landing the job. You know, getting the interview doesn't land the job, right? You still gotta, you still gotta get that job offer, right? So often, I get clients who seem to think, you know, if I just get an interview, I'll nail it. You know, how many of you had that? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, maybe, you know, maybe ten years ago you were that glib, but things have changed. 